All right. Hi there, and welcome to another Cigar Advisor Cigar Review panel, Cigar Review. I'm Gary Korb, Executive Editor for Cigar Advisor. And if I see one more of those pillow commercials, I'm going to throw myself off a bridge. I'll tell you that right now. But today, we're going to be reviewing a cigar that's a little out of the ordinary for us. Uh, it is the 3x3 three three Chubos from Davidoff. And so, without further ado, let us meet our delightful panelists right now. If only there was a way he could social distance from himself. Please give a warm welcome to Jared Ulick. <laughs> His right ear is colluded with more than a forest worth of number two pencils. It's John Pulo, everybody. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so let's get to this cigar. As you can see, it's in a tube. It is made by David Off in Santiago, Dominican Republic. And it is a six by 50 Churchill. Let's take it out of the tube. Ta-da. And I guess uh, the dimensions are six and three quarter by 50, which is pretty good size for a Churchill. Mm -hmm. It's uh, advertised as being kind of mellow in strength. It has an Ecuador Connecticut shade wrapper. And of course the filler and binder are Dominican. Now there's no specifics as to the tobacco. I could probably guess, but it is presented in bundles of nine tubos in three sizes. There's a Corona, there's also a Robusto, and of course, here we have, again, the Churchill. Mm -hmm. And what do you think this cigar, nine of these things, of course? Yeah. MSRP, I'll give you a hint. The MSRP is $38, $37.98. Oh, okay, so... Uh, What's famous selling for? I'm going to... This is, this is probably a $3 cigar, 27 bucks. You are correct. <laughs> hey, look at 26 me. $26.99. Yeah, there you go. What? $26.99 for a day of the cigar. <laughs> Somebody look this up. <laughs> so it's a three by three for three dollars. Right. Hence three by name. three. Hence that's right. Name. That's cool, isn't it? There so it. I have my notes here, and it says here, you know, um, you don't usually associate David off with bundle cigars, but here you have it. In fact, they couldn't go for your typical bundle presentation. They put these lovelies in two bows, but you only get nine. Now, uh, the name, of course, comes from the packaging, as I said, and they don't have fancy bands or any bands at all, as you could see. Mm -hmm. And uh, for that matter, they are made in Santiago by um, Hendrik Kellner and his factory, which tells you you're going to be getting a quality-made cigar, mm -hmm. but we'll be the judges of that. So with that, let us clip and light up. I'm already a step ahead of you there, G. Yeah, we're <laughs> that's fine. You can you guys want to go on and talk about what you're getting so far. Well, for, I mean, I, I, I think it's important to preface, you know, talking about this with the fact that, you know, given the times we thought it would be good to highlight something a little bit more budget friendly, maybe than we're used to doing. Uh, exactly. So, you know, so in case anybody's wondering, you know, why are you guys <clears> going ahead and smoking three dollar cigars and, and making a big production and to do out of it? It's like uh, you know, a lot of it is because, you know, we never get a chance to showcase some of the really good budget smokes. And That's because you know, at, at any given time, given the way current times are, this is a lot of what mm -hmm. people are looking for. Just That's a, right. You know, a, right. a good, honest burn. And we mm -hmm. figured maybe this, is, maybe this is one we could talk about and dig in a little deeper. It's kind of like a hidden gem. I mean, we, we really didn't know mm -hmm. too much about this. And, and even trying to prep and decide, you know, and, and, and learn some of the backstory about this, there's not much to be found. Oh, here. no. I was I was actually shaking a little writing the uh, intro. I'm like, I don't know that this is going to be long enough, <laughs> you know, so. But uh, sometimes it's not about the backstory. Sometimes it's just about the finished product. And I think this might be one of those times. Right. And, you know, um, cigars that are made at Hankey's, factory they have a certain character to them I'm, I'm getting the pre-light which is not cold draw here it's you get kind of like a, a kind of a grassiness uh, it's more of like a dominican i don't know if it's dominican olor um or i know there's probably some paleto cubano in here i guarantee you there's that in there but you know you yeah. get kind of that little um like the grassy taste i think off of olor but yeah, it's growing really well a, a grassy kind of a mix with hay and a little bit of leather yeah. too mm -hmm. that, that a dr typical dry Connecticut Dominican taste. Yeah, yeah. It behaves like the quality cigar that you would expect from the, from the Hankey's factory, of course. Yeah. I've had, I had two of these already. I, I, uh, 
I thought they were pretty consistent. This has a nice, nice mellow, creamy flavor to it, kind of woody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first few puffs, I'm finding that that Connecticut dry yeah. bitterness, you know, a little bit, and and that wood flavor, Jared, you're kind of talking about. You, you see, sir, that especially like right up front. That's that's a, a lot of the big taste. But I'm finding that you know, first you know, people always say, "Oh, Connecticut is so dry. Connecticut can be have a really that bitter sour taste." That it's a little bit of that up front, and but by by a half an inch, that's gone, and we've kind of leveled off to a more woody, toasty kind of sensation. Yeah, I would agree with that. For me, I definitely agree that it gets creamier as it goes. But for me, and to you know, give a little bit of a, a heads up, a sneak preview of what's to come. I think about two or three inches in, it gets a lot sweeter too. Like that's kind of its, I guess, quote unquote, sweet spot there. But uh, it's uh, it's actually you know when you I, the the entire time that I was smoking the cigar, both of my samples before this, mm -hmm. all I kept thinking about was the price. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that. This is as inexpensive as it is, you know. I'm not going to say sit here and tell you it's the, the best Davidoff I've ever had because obviously if these were the best Davidoffs for three bucks, everybody would be buying these and you know not <laughs> Churchill eight hours and stuff. You know? Right, right, right. But for what it's for what it costs, uh, it's it's really hard to to unjustify. Well, you know what's interesting is is like I, I did a little bit of looking around and and uh, this is the second one I've smoked. I mean I've I've had the three by threes before. Uh, you know, a couple things you notice. If you look inside the tube, there's no cedar. Right. There's yeah, no what's cedar up with cedar. that? So, right. So, you know, look, we are in budget cigar territory, so <laughs> there's going to be no cedar sleeve on the inside. Uh, the previous one that I smoked, I actually had one last night. Mm -hmm. The cap was a completely different color than the rest of the cigar. Okay. So it was like this very light blonde Connecticut color as opposed to this more caramel colored you know, uh -huh. uh, yeah. body of the cigar, it, it looked like a, the cap came from a completely different plant. <laughs> you, know. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it is what it is. You know, mm -hmm. Again, you, you, do you care about the color of the cap or do you care about, you know, something that's relatively relaxing and enjoyable for an hour plus that isn't going to cost you more than a cup of coffee? Now, so, so you're, you know, talking about, you're talking about the cedar not being in the tube. I'm talking about it has a tube. <laughs> For the, you oh, know what I mean? Like, cool. yeah. you don't see tube tube cigars for that kind of, uh, you know, kind of cost. And, and I'm a big proponent of like, you can't smoke the box, you can't smoke the tube. But a tube like that is pretty handy. Like if you're, you know, if you're out and about and you don't have, uh, you know, a travel humidor or something like that, pop a, you can reuse it, pop a cigar in there. Oh, yeah. And it'll protect it while it's in your pocket. So, I mean, sure. you're kind of getting nine cases for free <laughs> at the same time, you know? True. You know, you could you could make a redneck uh, cigar travel case by taping these together with the duct tape. Oh, I and, love that. You know, you've got I a whole thing that. going on. <laughs> and, Ooh, you know, but, you know, at least they did go for the tube. You know, at least yeah. they gave it a little class. I, it says here also long filler on the uh, label there. So that's very important, too. This is not some, you know, kind of short filler thing. You know, I guess I guess is it fair to say these are maybe seconds. It's clear, it's clear that it's long filler. This would not happen with short filler. Well, you know, I, Gary, you know, you bring up an interesting point. Again, we, again, we were looking to try and find some information on these, and they're the best kept secret because even some of the people we talked to at the company doesn't know what's in them. Uh, so I don't know if this is some kind of hanky hustle that he's got going on the side, or you know. But look, it's it's we know that it comes from Davidoff, just because you know we we get them from Davidoff and then yeah. we sell. Uh, you know, but. Um, it's 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 a long filler cigar. Its job is to be a budget smoke, right? And I mean, and any more than that, we really. What else are they going to say about it? Right. All right. Well, thank you for watching Cigar Advisors Cigar Review Panel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, let's talk about the flavor a little bit too. I'm I'm about eh, three quarters of an inch, I guess, in here. Um, I'm, I'm finding it, you know, was pretty consistent with the other two. The first one, I got to say, it was a little on the bitter side. The second one was much better. This one's a little closer to that one. And I'm getting a very smooth, creamy smoke uh, with a nice aroma. And, um, you know, that nice kind of like uh, woody, nutty kind of a taste uh, that they have. A little, little bit of that little grassiness. But it's very enjoyable with my coffee here and just 
relaxing and I think that's what the cigar is really all about, you know? I mean, How, how's it doing for you strength wise? Because I mean, obviously, this is built to be on the lighter side. Well, I, go ahead, Gary. Go ahead. Oh, oh I was going to yield to you, but okay. Um, strength wise, you know, it's funny. I just came off of smoking this AJ Fernandez, uh, you know, Diaz de Gloria. And so I still <laughs> have that kind of in my mind, you know. And uh, okay. so compared to that, it's, 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 it's quite, you know, much milder in flavor but um as far as the, the strength and body for that matter it's it's kind of like i would say it's it's mellow but kind of you know, almost borders on medium a little bit it's not it's not like really light to me it's not like macanudo light you know i was actually gonna i was gonna say that exact thing because you had brought up macanudo cafe earlier john and uh i actually wrote in my copy that it's not that it's it's it's, it's somewhere in between a medium-bodied cigar and like a Mac Cafe. Mac Cafe being like the extreme left of yeah. uh, you know, mild, mild, mild. But this is actually pretty. It's pretty mellow, but it's got some body to it. But I wouldn't say it's yeah. strong. But it's it's got it's got a little tiny, tiny, teeny bit of kick to it. You know. Well, I think you know I agree with you, Jerry. Especially I, th I think this is a good way to test out the difference between body and strength, right? Because yes. for me. Okay. The strength barely registers here, but for body, you take in the smoke, you know, that people talk about mouthfeel and how heavy it is on the palate and stuff like that. And it's got, the smoke has some density to it. Yes. And you get those nice woody flavors. And occasionally there's a little pinch of pepper that goes across the top of your tongue too. Huh. So okay. at least it's keeping it somewhat interesting with some of the different flavors. But you notice that the, the smoke is a little thicker. The smoke is a little creamier, as you said before. You know, not to give it away early, but it gets a little bit sweeter a little later on, and and all those things show that there's more body, more volume of stuff going on in the smoke than just strength, because there's not a lot of nicotine, there's not a lot of strength that this is, you know, and and that's why, you know, I think if we if we were gonna, how would you how would you pair this? Oh, for pairing. So, uh, what I actually did so. Let me actually rewind to this weekend, and I'll tell you the story of what happened to me this weekend. So okay. I, I, I smoked uh, one, I think, on Friday night, and the other one was on Saturday afternoon, right? So Friday night, I had my first one, and I'm sitting out here on the patio, and I had a vodka and cranberry, and I completely obliterated the taste of the cigar with that. It was just so overpowering, the cigar just got lost in it. So I yep. thought... I. You know, when I'm doing this on camera, I'm going to need something, you know, everybody knows, oh, Jared likes sweet stuff. Well, I do like sweet stuff, but it had to be lightly sweet. So I actually went with a, a Sam Adams Summer Ale. Okay. okay. So this has, for those of you who don't know, it's a citrus weed ale. So it has, it's like kind of like citrus peel elements to it. So yeah. it's like just this hint of sweetness, this hint of citrus that goes along with it. And it is a perfect complement to this cigar. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I, I was kind of taking a bet because I was like, I hope the little bit of sweetness doesn't overpower like the vodka and cranberry did. But so, yeah, I think the Sam Adams uh, summary, like I said, was a great pairing. But uh, what about you, Gary? What did you pair it with? Well, all, all three times, including this one, obviously, I'm doing the coffee. Um, but right. I just happened to find in the refrigerator some dark chocolate, 85% oh, hey. cocoa. Ooh, so I thought I'd bring that out today. My son has been. Uh, Picking at this, like as you can see, was that but, your quarantine uh, candy? <laughs> yeah, I was actually picking at that before we left the office. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's why there was mold on it. All right, but anyway. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. So let me First see. Full. Now it's great with the coffee. I mean, I mean, this is an excellent cigar for the morning, afternoon. It's an any time of day cigar. You know, that's a fact. I would I would agree with you, Gary. This is this is probably a prime candidate for a great morning smoke for 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 me. Oh, yeah. uh, you pair you pair it with a cup of coffee. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what, you know, because we always talk about doing bourbon. We always talk about doing whiskey, red wine, rum is always on the hit list. You know, you know, this is actually spectacular for first thing in the morning. If you're an early riser who likes to, you know, get a little bit of an eye opener with a cup of coffee. And a cigar. I think this is a great way to do it, um, you know. And and especially, look at it this way: for three bucks, you're saving some good money, so you can buy even nicer coffee. If you you know, if you're that guy who's <laughs> in Daytona, 
or you're that guy who's into the the Kopi Luwak coffee or yeah. stuff like that. I mean, get the gourmet stuff. stuff. What's that? Get the gourmet stuff. You know, what, exactly. what's the uh, so get, what's the coffee that the cat the cats crap out? Which one is that? Uh, the Vietnam. Oh, that's the Kopi Luwak. They eat they eat the they uh, eat the berries and shit out the beans, <laughs> yeah. and then they make this really high end coffee out of it. How it's from Vietnam. How appealing. Good thing. Yeah, it's wacky. But this is interesting because this is very bitter. And this has a little bit of sweetness in it, and it kind of makes a nice, a nice combination because at least you get a little bit of a chocolate flavor out of it too. So I don't know. This is kind of nice, and um, I would say, you know, I don't think this is really. I think Jared's uh, got a little more going for him in terms that uh, with his pairing, in terms of him. I think this is more of a beer kind of a cigar. It doesn't have to be this, but something that has just like that, that spritz of sweetness to it. Nothing that's, if you, you know, you're not looking for your chocolate stout. You're not looking for anything that's going to truly overpower this. Just something like citrus, you know what I mean? Mild citrus. Right. To it. Um, so I have a question for you guys. I kind of got an interesting note that I didn't anticipate. And it was something that re you reminded me of it. Uh, it might've been on our last panel review that you said, chocolate chip cookies except for the chocolate chips just kind of like that plain cookie and about right. halfway halfway through i get a little bit of plain cookie on this and i don't know if you guys picked up anything like that not okay, like super sweet but kind of like bready cookie like light and sweet you know so a little flash of complexity a little bit who knew this has got this has got a little bit of structure to it you know <laughs> so. yeah so you know before we anybody accuses us of going up and, and talking up a three dollar budget smoke i mean <laughs> uh, you know any, anybody want to temper expectations here as far as you know maybe maybe some things that you know what's what's the uh what's what's the big picture i guess is as far as you know okay. we know it's davidoff but you know it's yeah. not the big, yeah the big picture is if you're if you're expecting davidoff nicaragua if you're expecting yamasa if you're expecting you know, church, uh, you know, Winston Churchill or late hour or something like that. This is not your cigar. It's, it's not your, it's not a budget version of that. This is actually a standalone cigar that Davidoff makes for the premium cigar market on the economical end. So, yeah. you know, if you're looking to be blown away, I would say move on to their, to their top tier stuff. But if you're just looking for something simple, that's going to get you through the day, that's going to help you if you're mowing the grass or just sitting out on the deck, not doing anything, this is going to be your cigar. Yeah, I mean, how many guys do you know have bought, you know, they buy a bundle, you know, oh, I got a bundle for 1995, this or that, whatever. And then they turn out to be crappy. You know, at least, yeah. at yeah. least with this cigar, I know like this is my third within about as many days. And huh. they've all been really good, you know. So it's good to yeah. be able to know that even when you buy a box, sometimes you get one or two clunkers. You know? But, but um, I'm sure. finding that this is very, very nice in terms of you know the flavor i'm getting you know it's mellow like i said it's good for outdoors in yeah. the morning with coffee whatever you know it's just sort of an all-purpose cigar and yeah. i know when i light one up it's going to be okay right you brought, you brought up an important word before gary and that's consistency i think you know that's that's really the davidoff thing it's less about yeah. taste it's less about uh you know, the ingredients and, you know, their thing at the factory, we took a tour there about a year, year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we sat and talked to Hinky, we sat and talked to their other master blender, Eladio Diaz. Mm. And it's yeah. consistency is really their biggest hallmark. You know, you got to make sure you got to do whatever you can to tweak the blend from year to year because the person who smokes one of their cigars has the expectation that this month it's going to taste like that. Next month, it's going to taste like that. Next year, it's going to taste like that. And they don't ever want to be disappointed. So, you know, I mean, so, yeah, we're not using the high caliber materials, I think, to make this cigar. You know, it's like Jared said, it's not going to give the Davidoff experience. You know, like I always, I'll, I'll go back to this kind of analogy. A mercury will get you there in the same amount of time and on the same road. But, you know, the ride and the road trip is going to be a lot more fun and enjoyable on the Lincoln. Okay. okay so 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 this is the mer this is the mercury as compared to like a signature series lincoln or something like that you yeah. know but but mm -hmm. this just happens to be how davidoff does a budget cigar and i and to me yeah i feel that this is above average yes. for a budget cigar well you that's know, what i was actually, trying to get to yeah i was trying to point that yeah. out yeah it is so, so you know Definitely so whereas everybody else's budget cigar is you know just 
a, a knock around. You know, when Davidoff does a budget cigar, I mean, I would actually be bold enough when these things are hitting right, you know, they're, I mean, they're not on the, on the, up there with the big time Connecticut's like Monte Cristo and Ashton Classic and all these guys right. up here. You know, but this is a nice alternative, I think, to Macanudo Cafe, to uh, Baccarat, oh, yeah, sure. without the, Baccarat without the sweet tip. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, uh, Don Diego might be another one. Gisper mm -hmm. might be another one. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Actually, yeah, this reminds me a little bit of a Gisper in a lot of ways, yeah, even so though that's got some Honduran in it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is yeah, really so nice. Yeah, so it's that kind of range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, it and, might actually uh, even be good to say that you know, this is a three dollar cigar that has seven dollar cigar moments. <laughs> okay, that'd be an I'll interesting way to put it. I could get behind that. You know, I'll it's it's you know, I'm not. I, I wouldn't even put it in a, in a ten dollar category. Like if someone said, "Hey, this is ten dollars," like no, it's, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this for ten dollars. But for its price range, like we said, just to beat that dead horse a little bit more, and so people don't accuse us of saying, "Hey, this is the most amazing thing ever for three dollars." It's it's not, but. I would agree with you completely that it's above average and above average is a great way to say it. So you're going to have some, you know, uh, peaks and valleys, uh, but the peaks make it worth the price to me. Yeah. I would matter say fact, so. I just had to relight because I was talking. So much. <laughs> hey, um, Jared, what are you, uh, it's hard for me to see with these sunglasses on where you're at with your cigar. Look at the construction at the same on point? This. Yeah. It's um, no, I'm, I'm about, what, two inches in maybe an inch and a half. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So how how is your how is your going? Uh, How's it taste? Like I said earlier, so now now that we're actually at this point, it gets a little bit sweeter for me. I get this like it, it's very faint, but this kind of faint like plain cookie thing going on. But it's just mostly still like sweet wood, a little bit of grass, a little bit of leather, um, and it, but it's very creamy. And to John's point from earlier, it's dense smoke. It's got a lot going on in the smoke. It's it's thick and, yeah. it's, and it smells nice too. It's, it's, it's a nice aromatic mm -hmm. smoke. Yeah, I'm getting kind of that like, um, you call it, you said sweet wood, but I'm, it's almost like sweet wood with a little, like a little uh, bitter tanginess to it. You know, I, it's, it's, I, there's, I sort of a, there's some yeah. kind of a tanginess to this thing. I, I, I know it's citrusy, but it's, you know, it's just, and, and you know, Dominican tobacco uh, can, you know, depending on how it's aged and fermented and everything that, you know, does carry with it a little bit of bitterness, especially the wrappers, you know, um, these are Ecuador and Connecticut, which are you know, pretty good. But again, you know, um, I think that this cigar definitely, you know, gives you, you know, more than what you pay for. So, yeah. I mean, I like, I like it, you know, I do. I mean, it's, you know. Hey Mikey, he likes it. <laughs> well, anybody had a retro hail on this thing? Yeah, but here at this point, midway through the cigar, just a little bit before midway through the cigar, uh, there's a tiny little bit of pepper, a tiny little bit of spice. It's just kind of a nice little, boop, you know, just a nice little accent mark on 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 the smoke. But I wouldn't say if you're looking for a ton of uh, of excitement on the retro, this is your cigar, you know. But um, it, there's yeah. a little bit there. Yeah, I just did it, and uh, it was very very uh, smooth. I didn't get any. Yeah pepper or any bite or anything. It was just smooth smoke. I didn't pick up any particular flavors. I found a little bit of woodiness and a little bit a little bit of that sweetness and the creaminess of the smoke you'll find in there. If anything, uh, you know, pretty much what all of us have just said, this makes this probably an easy cigar to learn how to retro on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thicker, yeah. Smoke, thicker flavors are easier to do. Smoke, for sure. A good way to put it. Yeah. You know what else I would say? I would say you know, we always say, who's a cigar for, right? I would say this is really a good starter cigar. You know, mm -hmm. for someone who's just starting out, I mean, just starting out, not someone who's, you know, smoked a few cigars already. But I would say, okay, you know, as a, as a first cigar, um, I don't think you could miss with this. That you'll get a really good idea of, of, you know, what a good Dominican cigar tastes like. You're not going to spend a fortune. And... You know, it's kind of like a warm up, I think, for, for like, like uh, the next level up. You know, I would say this is, I, I don't, I mean, I don't know the Davidoff catalog well enough to be able to say, oh, this, this is similar to uh, Nata Versario or, you know, what are the other main lines, but it, it's definitely, <clears throat> pardon me, it's definitely in that, you know, that, that main line category. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a good starter cigar. 
what I what I think additionally right now, and if I can yeah. just talk about something topical, is you know, yeah. there's there's a lot of people just to be honest and and to be quite blunt that are you know that are having facing reduced hours of work, and your cigar budget may have been significantly slashed right now. So you know, if you have a slashed budget right now and you're looking for something that has some really decent flavor to go along with a short price tag. This is not a bad alternative to what you would normally smoke right now, especially if you like medium mellow cigars and that's something that range. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know what? A lot of times when it comes to a good cigar, it's not about price, but when it does come to price, you want it, you want something that's going to give you what you paid for. And, you know, if you can exactly. feel that $3 is a good price point for what you want out of it. And to Gary's point before, it's not like you have to buy a, a ton of them. You, I mean, nine come in the bundle. So it's, it's kind of like a nice, no, it's a nice number. You know, it's yeah. not too few, not too many. And the price is right. It's under $30. I mean, it's good value. And I'll tell you another thing. I look in my humidors and I, I see... I have like a lot of these cigars that are, you know, pretty full bodied, medium body, medium full. I don't have too many cigars like this. So if you just want to have something around for a change of pace, mm -hmm. you know, this is great, you know, for $26, $27, you know, that's the sale price, of course, but still, um, mm -hmm. let's throw them in there, you know? <laughs> yeah, I still maintain it's a great morning knock around for somebody, yeah. that, you know, if you're not a starter, but you're looking for something just easy going to get your day rolling. This is, yeah. this, this is where I would find it. I really like this cigar. I like the price. I like the way it looks. I like the way it smokes. It's uh, certainly, I think, something that uh, I could recommend to just about anybody, like I said, who was starting out or just wants to change the pace. Or, you know, I mean, it's obviously not for someone who wants, you know, uh, hard boiled from Nicaragua, you know. But yeah, um, for sure. Do we have any, uh, are we ready for final observations on this yet? Or is anybody yeah, want to say? I'm ready, man. So, right, uh, yeah, what, I'll, actually, for my final observation, I'll talk about something that really stood out to me about the cigar, probably above everything else, even above flavor, was now, and John, I know you had mentioned that, you know, they had had some mismatched tobaccos and stuff. And obviously, the, this uh, three by three selection is not getting the first pick of tobaccos, and understandably so at its price. But I will say, for all three of the samples that I've had, impeccable construction, rolled well, no soft spots, yeah. no, you know, uh, no flaky ash, anything like that. It's been burning just as well as any cigar I'd pick out of my humidor. Um, so, you know, and, and that and just like what I've been saying, that it's, it's a great value for the money. So if, if you're looking for good value, this is where it's at. Absolutely. Nice. I would say, uh, I would call this pretty much a mellow champ, uh, but it's got a, a little bit of sizzle when you, especially when you smoke it slow, you take your time. You see some of those extra flavors kind of pop out. You were talking about cookie. Um, that pepper comes and, and goes every once in a while. Uh, smoke time, I found, has been averaging just north of an hour and 15 minutes, uh, which, wow. is, which, you know, which is nice because, you know, you're thinking budget cigar, probably going to smoke too fast. Uh, but I haven't been having that problem. Uh, toasty, woody, a little pinch of pepper every now and again. Very straightforward flavors. Uh, easy for, as Gary had mentioned, for the inexperienced palate to kind of get a few of the basic tastes. Get the feel uh, down, you know. You know? You, yeah. You throw a wad of these in your golf bag, I mean, you yeah, can't lose. exactly. Good smoke, sensible price, and I think that's what makes it a smart buy at a time like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, John, because it is getting to be golf season here in the Northeast. Actually, you know, the golf courses have been open. <laughs> yeah, they just opened Friday, right? They opened Friday, didn't they? Depends on where you are. Somewhere well, I know my brother played um, last week, and uh, yeah, I know people have been playing. So, and so that's an excellent suggestion. This is a really good golf cigar because you never know what's going to happen on the golf course, and you know you're always mm -hmm. stopping, you're going, or you know you don't want to really, um, you know, bring something nice for the you know the uh, the nineteenth hole. But right. um, I yeah. think that's a really good point. But my final observations were basically I think this is a major value in terms of price. I, I mentioned this already. You don't get the chance to smoke a Dayadoff made cigar around three bucks. Um, I find it, you know, it's mellow and a little bitter at times. I don't know. Do you find it kind of salty too? I don't get a lot of salt. salt. No, I didn't get a lot of salt. Oh, why? But that, that kind of tanginess thing I was talking about, now it's kind of seems like it's got a little bit of salt in it too. But anyway, 
it's, it, it's, it's a little bitter at times, especially in the final third, but it's mostly woody and sweet. As I said, it's great for those who are just getting into cigars or cigar smokers seeking a top-notch bundle cigar, you know, with a good connection. So, and then I also think it's great in the morning, you know, when you want a cheap, well-made cigar to pass the time because you can't decide what you really want to smoke. So there you have it. Okay. You ever have that? You know, it's, I don't know what the hell to smoke. Oh, yes. oh I'll just pick up I one have, of these. I, I, <laughs> have, I have one other final thought, but it's not about the sure. cigar. That's okay. Or specifically today. Oh, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a it's a shirt that has a uh, 2020 written on a dumpster that's on the fire. <laughs> yeah, the 2020 oh. dumpster fire. Because yeah. all this oh. isn't bad enough, then now we have murder hornets this week. Oh, I heard about them today. Yeah. All yeah, right. I don't know. The murder hornets are, are the latest overseas import of invasive species. And uh, I think it's, I don't know. It's the next plague. So I'm just about down past the, uh, I've had a bit of the middle section. You know, it is burning slowly, you know? It's doing pretty nicely. Yeah. I'm about Ooh. exactly halfway right now. Yeah, about the same for me. I mean, you know, I, I still got plenty of room to go to where the band normally would be, but, you know, nice, enjoyable, low key, no construction issues. Absolutely. All right. Well, remember, you can buy the three by three tubos by David Off at famous-smoke.com. And remember when you're on famous-smoke.com, sign up for the catalog. There are some amazing buys in that catalog. And don't forget to follow cigaradvisor.com at our website and sign up for our emails. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And if you like the cigar, you like this video, then like the video on YouTube. And be sure to ring the bell for those notifications when one of these wonderful videos appears on your computer so or your phone. So that's about it, I guess, for today. And I want to thank everybody for joining us. And John and Jared, thanks for uh, tuning in as well and giving sure. your opinion. And I think we got a real winner here. I think for the money, can't beat it. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. and. Happy smokes.